Hello my soccer universe and welcome to the first Eredivisie jersey review on my channel and the reason why I haven't had one is because as of the date I'm shooting this video I have only jerseys for five teams and the other that I just recently acquired. However, while it might be a little bit uh, more empty than I usually have in my, in my backgrounds, I still want to keep it that way. And what's even more important for every part of the video that I'm shooting, I have a jersey to wear. So that's all the fun of it. And I'm really, really excited about doing that because the Eredivisie to me had always some sleeper jerseys and some really, really interesting ones in there. We also have tons of different suppliers that we don't usually call in the big leagues at all. Now, in this video, I will go through the jerseys that have been released for each of these uh, teams and give them a grade from one, the worst to 10, the best. My personal view, at the end I will ask you which jerseys you agree or disagree with me uh, in here. The pictures I've taken from the wonderful page Football Kit Archive, which you definitely should check out and then a little, a little bit of editing that it all fits nicely. As for which team goes in which video, if you are a long time viewer of my channel, you already know I take last season standing and then I go 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have 18 teams, so four videos and you know, each number for the video. And so in this video we have PSV, we have Utrecht, we have Wahlwijk, we have Sittard and we have Excelsior from Rotterdam. As always I sort them alphabetically and that's why we start with Excelsior who actually I have to say um, Excelsior maybe the shirt here doesn't look all that great but what does look great is the overall uniform with the black shirts and the red pants I actually really do like it however having said that Excelsior are uh, equipped by Quick another uh, company that I don't think we have covered in this uh, in any review yet um, who it's at first it looks a little bit like Adidas because there are some shoulder stripes on one side but not on the other one. Um, like we saw with Cambur uh, in the part one, a whole big blocky sponsor. I actually want to know what the crest is on the other side because the quick logo is the one in the middle. So I find this rather in the internet I'm sure there is some significance to uh, that one. Other than that, it's a relatively simple shirt. However, I think the sponsor is just a little bit too much and that's why for an average shirt I go a teeny bit lower than I would usually go and say five. The away jersey does the same thing uh, in white, however, it loses all the red, which I think I would have liked to see here. Uh, the golden is not bad per se, however, if I look at this crest and I don't think it's the city of Rotterdam, this is something else and please, if you know... Uh, right to me below uh, but you know we have this bright yellow and then we have the golden I think either make the special crest also golden or make the other one yellow to, to have a little bit more connect there so yeah um, I think it's a little bit worse than the home jersey it's also not very exciting and again the sponsors are just awful in a way so yeah I think I'm even gonna go for with this one and we go to the big boys PSV where Puma after a largely red jersey last season we get now a nicely striped uh, red and white jersey with the center stripe being in white meaning white is the dominant color on this one which is actually a little bit weird if you look at it at first um, let's elephant in the room I don't like the box sponsor although I think the sponsor in, uh, in, in itself is not bad um, yes it's three line but it's very well contained so I actually don't mind that other than that it's a simple template I would like to see the striping continue onto the sleeves as it does for this uh, shirt but other than that I actually really like it's a classic looking PSV shirt uh, and then worn together with the pants and, and so on uh, really cannot complain a whole lot still it's not a PSV shirt where I say ah, this is uh, an, uh, an all time classic for that is almost a little bit too simple but I give it 7 call me crazy but there's something about this away jersey that I do enjoy uh, it's the same checkerboard pattern that we saw for Shakhtar um, 
but v with the red accents and then I know I slammed the Croatia jersey in 2018 and this is very much uh, similar but I have to f say that the colors work better I think it is black with a gray instead of a uh, bluish it works remarkably well this is a jersey that I when I saw it I think they wore it at Ajax when I saw it well, I thought this is actually a really good looking shirt and it surprised me but I still maintain that for me this is one of the underrated shirts in the Eredivisie season I want to give this even a 9 star and I even gotta say although I don't quite see the point of the third shirt because I think whatever the uh, other shirt covers it does it fine maybe if you think Excelsior or some other dark team it could work and we have seen this jersey quite a bit I also don't mind this one. I find that the blue is rather pleasing and then the color with the red and white is also nice. However, the way the color is just a little bit on the side, I would love it if it goes a little bit further around. Uh, the full color crest on it looks also quite quite nice, but in the overall it's a rather sim simple jersey, but I think a good looking one overall. Also one that definitely needs, needs to be added to the library, but I think it's also a little bit average and so that's what i'm giving it it's um i would say it's a six and a half but i still will go with a six here moving on to sitard another uh, uh company that we saw a few times in the uh, afcon jersey reviews but we have i don't think i've seen a club jersey so far in my reviews from masita uh, pretty simple shirt and i have to see although we saw that uh, sponsored volendam where it did not fit here actually sponsor i don't mind at all uh yes maybe just the logo would be fine or just bad city but i overall i think this is very nicely put uh i get very much of not vibes from this one although the green is a little bit darker but i think it's very well balanced and then you have also the white uh to add a little bit pep on it i think this jersey is for a smallish team it's actually quite nice jersey. Um, I'm gonna uh, give this the jersey a 7. And if we move on over to the away jersey, I also think it's, it's quite use, useful. I wish maybe that the green could be a little bit more to the club, uh, uh, club's colors, not this uh, a mint green. But I think overall is also a jersey that works really, really nice. Uh, it's a nice contrast also to the home jersey full color crest I really think this is also it's it's I would say a six I give deductions for using the mint green here um, and we're moving over to Utrecht and I have been looking at Utrecht shirts quite a bit and I have to say my favorite look is exactly the one that I have here with kind of the reverse Monaco which is of course based on the flag of Utrecht and I find this is a really really strong look. Uh, Utrecht had traditionally also red jerseys and last season they had kind of uh, this look but in the two-tone red I have to say I, I prefer this one. Now the sponsor T-Mobile boom I mean that's a big ass sponsor. I'm also not sure if I do like the black outlines around the collar and the sleeve cuffs all that much um, but you know it fits in with the other black the only thing is that the Utrecht crest has blue so I think if you would have used blue on this one I think I would like this a whole lot better but overall a really nice Nike jersey unfortunately it doesn't continue on the back which means deductions are in place so yeah but I would say it's a seven star i think it's a pretty nice shirt which is not something i can say about the away jersey um the color yes is my wife's favorite color the pink uh the hot pink however i do not understand this template i think when i saw it last season for freiburg i said it looks a little bit like black forest ham or some something like that but it was a little bit more um subtle if it is so uh strong color on strong color this pattern becomes overbearing and I've seen it this season with many clubs. It's it's one of the least templates out there. It really is. Now, black and pink work well together in a way. But I can't look past the crazy pattern. And so for me, it is not a shirt. I think Utrecht had 
uh, so many nicer shirts in their history. This one does not get in there. For me, and just because the pink and the black work well and then uh, paired off very, very, very nicely with the white applications, I give it a three star, but this is far from my favorite shirt. I gotta say that the third jersey, although also I'm not sure about the colors. I mean, the blue I understand, but why we have the gold, I'm not quite sure. But maybe there is some uh, celebrations. It didn't mention anything in the post. But I have to say this works quite well. Maybe a little bit too much beige. It should be gold, but you know, it's more or less beige. But I think this is a very decent shirt. Uh, also one that I like. And I think this is a very nice Nike template. Very nice, classy and, and so on. I would give this another seven star. And so yeah, Utrecht looking fine. Uh, let's move over to Valwijk, which is the last team, team that they will look at. Um, similar to Cambuur, uh, we have a yellow jersey with a blue collar, but I actually here, this is by Stano, and <laughs> I think it's the only Stano shirt that we will see another source of supply that I've not heard really before. I uh, know we, we we will see another Stano shirt. There you go in an in a, in an uh, upcoming part, part four. Uh, I actually think this is a very classy shirt. Just that the sponsor is a little bit too much because it's a little bit off center. That's where I deduct points. But other than that, I think it's very very useful. There's a na a nice pattern in there. You know, you have to, it's a darker yellow on top, and then there's a little bit of gradient coming down. Which makes it interesting to lo look at. Also works a little bit with the crest, but as the blue stripes, uh, blue and yellow stripes. I think it's not a bad shirt, and especially the collar. It's always sounds something like, and I'm completely uh, unlike Tony Cross there. I'm gonna give this a strong eight star look, um, which I will not give to the away jersey. I do like the black, and then you have the club's colors. But then why is the blue a little bit too much? I think if this was all black, and then you have on one side the blue. Uh, claw marks coming in on the other side, the yellow, that's fine. But I have to say this one does not make a whole lot of sense. And I'm sorry, I don't have a better picture either. Um, nah, doesn't do it for me. It's, it, it, it tries too much. It's a three star. However, what does not try too much, I think is the carnival jersey. This works in a way, although it is, it's all primary colors, which is right, right in your face. Look at the special crest for the carnival season, which is also something interesting. Um, and yeah, carnival colors, it needs to be colorful. Um, note, yellow and blue are the club's colors. You add red to make it a little bit stand out, but I have to say the overall cut with the color looks nice. Maybe the black sponsor, I think a white sponsor would look a little bit better. That's my personal opinion. It's not a bad shirt. Is it my favorite carnival shirt? No, by far not. Uh, and mine have, have, has been working with these colors a uh, little bit better, but I think it's a joyful shirt. I'm gonna give it a six star. And that ends part two of the Eredivisie jersey review. Please let me know which jerseys did you like in here and where you agree or disagree with me. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you soon with further parts. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye!